Okay, I'm stepping it up right now with this one. Um, and the reason why is simply because this is going to end up being a quadratic equation. Okay, so let me actually just get it nicely in the screen. There we go. So, first step is to find the LCM. Okay, so each denominator must first be factorized, which in this case is not necessary. So I can jump into LCM. Okay, uh, first factor gets to choose his his president he's choosing x negative 2 the next one also gets to choose he, he cho chooses x plus 7 so my LCM must have both of those in the last one chooses x minus 2 which was already chosen by the first one so this is my LCM that's what I'm going to multiply with so every term here now gets multiplied with x minus 2 x plus 7 x minus 2 x plus 7 and finally x minus 2 x plus 7 okay great stuff now what we can do is cancel anything that's common that's common with that one the x plus 7 is common with x plus 7 and x minus 2 is common with x minus 2 so that in my next step I've got a lovely x minus 7 x plus 7 minus because that's a negative 4x minus 2 equals to negative 3 because that's the numerator that's left there x plus 7 excellent okay so simplifying this I love it when I see difference of two squares don't you okay x squares minus 49 negative 4x plus 8 is equal to negative 3x minus 21 okay now as you can see this is a quadratic equation we know what to do we must take uh, make sure that all of the terms go to the one side so um, on the right hand side I'm just going to add a 3x and I'm also going to add a 21 but that means I must do it on both sides since I'm working with an equation and on the right hand side I therefore now have nothing left okay on the left hand side I've got x squared I've got a negative 4x plus a 3x that gives me negative x and then I've got a negative twin a negative 49 plus 21 that gives me f uh, 28 plus 8 that gives me uh, that was negative 28 that gives me negative 20 okay this actually goes very easily into two brackets okay I know the basics like this what gives me negative 20 when I multiply it and when I add it I get negative 1 well I think it's negative 5 and positive 4 because they multiply to give negative 20 but negative 5 plus 4 gives me negative 1 which now means that this is what I get Okay, I get x is equal to five. Uh, sorry, x minus five is equal to zero, or x plus four is equal to zero. That means x is either equal to five or x is equal to negative four. Now let's just go and test whether this is going to work. If at any point my unknown that I solved causes my one of my denominators to be zero, they would be not applicable. This one is x minus two. Okay, if I make x equal to five, it would be five minus two, which is three. That's not a problem. If this is five plus seven, that's twelve, and five minus two, that's three. So that's not a problem. How about negative four? Negative four, negative two gives me negative six. Not a problem. Negative four plus seven gives me plus three. Not a problem. Negative four, negative two gives me negative six. Not a problem. So neither of these give me a problem. So let's move on to another question, and let's hope that one gives us a problem so we can illustrate it. I'll see you in that question.